Imagine you're a researcher in Florida. It's three in the morning in the middle of the Everglades, and you're checking your field equipment when you notice something strange. Your robotic rabbits, each costing $4,000, start disappearing one by one. But here's the twist. They weren't being taken by the giant pythons you were trying to catch. No, something far more numerous, far more territorial, and completely unexpected was destroying your cutting-edge technology. And when researchers finally discovered what was happening, the solution became even more complicated than the original problem. This is the story of how Florida tried to use robots to fight one of the worst biological invasions in American history and ended up discovering something fascinating about its own native predators. Let's start at the beginning. South Florida is facing an ecological crisis of apocalyptic proportions. We're talking about Burmese pythons, snakes that shouldn't even exist there. These giant snakes, which can grow up to 20 feet long, were introduced into the Everglades, probably after Hurricane Andrew in 1992, when exotic animal breeders lost their specimens. The result? An environmental disaster. More than 23,000 pythons have been removed since the year 2000. But experts estimate that there are still between 30,000 and 300,000 of these serpents crawling through Florida's swamps. And here's the most shocking statistic. They've eliminated 95% of the small mammals in Everglades National Park. Opossums, raccoons, rabbits have simply almost disappeared. The Florida government has tried everything. Professional hunters paid between $13 and $18 per hour, plus bonuses for each python captured. Annual competitions with prizes of up to $10,000. In 2025, they increased hunter pay by 60%. Even so, the detection rate for these serpents is only 1-3%. to They are masters of camouflage, practically invisible in the swampy habitat. So in the summer of 2025, researchers from the University of Florida and the South Florida Water Management District decided to think outside the box. Literally. They created something that looks like it came straight out of a science fiction movie. Solar-powered robotic rabbits, equipped with cameras with artificial intelligence, emitting heat, scent, and movement. The idea was genius in theory. Pythons hunt primarily by the heat and movement of their prey. These $4,000 robots were each programmed to perfectly mimic a real rabbit, luring the snakes into a technological trap. Once the python attacked, the cameras with artificial intelligence would identify the snake, alert the rapid response teams, and bam, one more python eliminated from the ecosystem. 120 of these robotic rabbits were deployed in the most infested areas of the Everglades. The initial results? Promising. The pythons were actually being attracted. The system was working. But then, here's the problem that researchers would likely face. The robotic rabbits being destroyed. Not by the pythons. By something much, much bigger. But before revealing what could be attacking these robots, if you're enjoying this content and want more fascinating stories about nature, science, and the most insane encounters in the animal kingdom, subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell. It helps a lot and ensures you don't miss any videos. If researchers were to install monitoring cameras near flooded areas, what would they likely see? American alligators. Tons of them. These alligators would attack, bite, and destroy the robotic rabbits like plastic toys. While almost every mammal species has been decimated by pythons, alligators have thrived. There are one and a half million alligators in Florida, with over 200,000 in the Everglades alone. They're one of the only native animals capable of facing pythons on equal terms. Who wins these confrontations depends on size. An adult alligator, 11 and a half feet long, with a bite force of 2,000 pounds per square inch, crushes an average python effortlessly. But a giant python 16 feet or longer can swallow a medium-sized alligator whole. In 2005, 
A 13-foot python was found with its stomach ruptured, with a 6-foot alligator coming out of it. Both died in the attempt. The secret to alligator success? Natural armor. Alligators have bony plates called osteoderms beneath their thick skin, so dense they can withstand gunfire from low-caliber firearms. When a python tries to squeeze an adult alligator, it's basically squeezing living armor. So alligators are now apex predators of the Everglades, along with pythons, in constant battle for the top of the food chain. Now back to the robotic rabbits. If you spread hundreds of lures emitting heat, scent and movement throughout the swamps, you're not just attracting pythons. You're attracting everything that hunts in the Everglades. Alligators, being territorial opportunistic predators, see these robots as intruders or meals. With their powerful jaws, they destroy the $4,000 devices like twigs. Here's the economic problem. If you're losing several robots to alligators every week, costs outweigh benefits. Compare that to paying python hunters $13 to $18 per hour. Yes, detection rates are low, but you're not losing expensive equipment constantly. Researchers would need solutions. Create more resistant shells, though that increases costs. Install alligator deterrent systems. Or most fascinating, use the alligators themselves as a weapon against pythons. Think about it. Increase robotic rabbits, attracting more pythons but also alligators, creating confrontation zones where native predators do the dirty work. It's risky, but in biological invasion ecology, sometimes you need creativity. This story teaches us there are no simple solutions. Technology can be incredible, but nature always surprises us. What could start as a $480,000 project would reveal that the real heroes are American alligators, themselves living proof that resilient ecosystems depend on strong native predators. If this project works, it could be adapted to combat invasive species worldwide. Imagine robots mimicking prey, eliminating invaders while working with native wildlife. So what's your verdict? Will technology win this war against pythons or are traditional methods superior? Leave it in the comments. Although this specific scenario is a mental exercise based on real science, the python problem is 100% real. Alligators being capable predators is real and the need for creative solutions is real. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe so you don't miss the next content. Thanks and see you next time.